today I am going to demonstrate carving maxillary canine with a paper cutter knife. The first step with any tooth carving is you have to measure the tooth. As per the dimension shown now, the total height is 27, where the root is 17 and crown is 10. The mesiodistal is 7.5 and the labiopalatal is 8. So you mark it on the labial side first, the outline of the maxillary canine, as I have marked here. Very simple is to start from like this along the line just one stroke cut it cut it cut it like this again on the distal side just follow it Cut it, cut it, and just cut it. You'll get a very smooth surface like this. If your cutting is good, you'll get a very smooth surface, a similar surface. This is the label aspect, and you can see the root is tilting distally. So this should be mesial and this should be distal. Now turn to the distal side make a center line continue uh, the crown height from the label aspect now you have to make a triangle like normally which you do for your incisor tooth like this and like this then turn this side mark the root similarly either side so you will get a picture like this block out this using marker if you recall otherwise straight away you can cut it so I've just blocked on the lingual side now turning to the buccal side so I've marked it once this is done hold it Use the knife like this, keep it at the cement enamel junction, just follow the line just like this. And then cut it like this. So that the slope on the label side you'll get it. Similarly, the lingual side is not convex it's concave and you go through the line as shown here I've gone across the line like this so keep it very straight you cut it any amount of wax will come out unlike the central incisor the canine is got cusp and that's why it is called cuspid with a mesial long which is shorter and distal long which is longer like this once this is done make a center area just go through like this so that you will get the slope and turn to this side now you try to make the cervical extent the cervical line on the labial side the cervical line on the mesial side so whatever wax that remains here excess wax must be cut like this again on this side cut it like this slightly very slightly so the labial surface is broader 
and the lingual surface is narrower. You accordingly you make that provisions here. So you have the outline now. And now you have to make the palatal side like this. Once this is done, just make a depression at this point so that the cingulum area will become more prominent. You have to get rounding like this, you do the rounding. Once this is done, just take the carver, go here like this and do here like this. So after this, I'll use gauze piss to smoothen out on all surfaces. Now I'm doing on the mesial side, on the labial side, and on the distal side now. And this is palatal surface. told you that the mesial arm is smaller than the distal arm and the root is slightly slender compared to the first molar. I'm doing now distalization on the surface. Take the wax cover, just create a depression here and then on the distal side, just below the cervical line, make a concave area as I have done here. Once this is done, do a very smooth polishing. redefine the cervical line A small concavity is created now on the mesial long. So the canine tooth is absolutely over. This is a labial surface with the depressions, the crown, 
and the mesial surface. This is the lingual aspect of the canine. You can see a central ridge-like area with two fossas on either side and the distal surface and the labial aspect. To show you again the canine with beautiful distalization. The palatal aspect with clear fossas and ridges. And to show you the incisal thickness Again, it's over now. I hope you can do carving much easier with paper cutting knife. Thank you very much.